Happy Monday, Boker Tov. I hope that you had a restful Shabbat and that your Passover is still sweet and the matzah still tastes delicious. I found a really gorgeous reading that talks about the time that we're in right now and I wanted to share it with you. What if the universe right now is trying to get us to slow down, to stop producing, to let the earth breathe a little without all of our pollution and all of our extra noise that we make each day? What if we're being challenged to take a step back and realize the impact that we really have on one another and on this world? That we aren't as significant or we aren't as in control as we truly think we are. We realize that a virus can come through and wipe us all out, but that the earth will still be here. We will all still be connected. Just like we can spread a disease, we can spread kindness and love. We can spread compassion and empathy. We're challenged to use this time as a time of reflection of our contributions in this world, the contributions we have on one another, and the contributions we make to our own lives. It's time for us to slow down. It's time for us to slow down and finally hear our voices again. The universe is always speaking to us. God is always speaking to us. Now is our time to quiet ourselves, to hear that still small voice inside of us, and to remind ourselves what really matters to us. It's our turn to set the intention of what our world is going to look like when we return to whatever is on the other side of this virus. I challenge you, Temple Israel of Greater Miami, to reassess what is important to you in your lives. What values do you want to maintain and pass on to the next generation? What memories, what stories do you want to create and cultivate so that when we look back at this time, it is a time of joy, a time of togetherness, and a time of unity. As we move towards this next week, may we make the decisions to set forth our lives in a way which is positive, a way which leaves an impact on this world that it could not be without. It says in our text, the entire world was created for our being. And so if we can live a life where we truly act in a way that impacts this world like that, that is the world we'll return to and a world that God will be grateful that we are a part of. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to speaking to you throughout the week and seeing you again on Shabbat. Take good care.